hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are creating a music player which looks something like this so in this music player i'm creating a playlist of bruce springsteen so we have two songs here and you can use this music player on your phone and it works something like this if you play this so the songs are being played uh, there is a playlist uh, right now we have only two songs and if you click next another song in the playlist will play Drop something like this, go back again, it will play this. And then you have a switch which will turn on and off the video. So if you turn off the video, you can just listen to the song. If you turn on, you can watch the video. So first of all, we create a SharePoint list. The SharePoint list will have title of the song, uh, name of the artist, and uh, the YouTube ID. So now I'll go to uh, YouTube and add more songs to it. Uh, so let's add Born in the USA. So when you open a YouTube link, this is the YouTube ID which I'm going to add. So I'll add to the list, this is my YouTube ID and then name of the song is one in USA, so title I've had it, artist Bruce Springsteen. Let's add some more. Uh, For the songs that uh, let's add I'm on fire I love the song I hope I don't get any copyright strikes here so let's add this song okay uh that's the youtube id i'm on fire oops and we have the artist so now we have some good number of songs i'll go here and I'll create a new app close this one uh on layout so now uh we need few buttons i'll put an image first one here and I need to put a link over here so make it of a size 80 height 80 and the source of the buttons are placed in this github repository uh, you can find the link in the description uh, so this is the next button uh, I click on download this source and I go to image here put a quote mark and within the quote put this image now again I copy this paste this paste this and we have three buttons this is a play button so I'll just rename it as play this is a previous button so I'll put it as previous here 
and on so let's distribute them horizontally okay I'll group them all right awesome and line to center so the next thing I am going to do is put a slider which will act as a tracker for the video. So this is the slider that we are going to have and this handler is pretty big so put it at 20. So it's now good enough. Uh, I need to so the uh, so the length, uh, the, the minute of the song being played here, so it's over here. Uh, apart from that, uh, I also need to play the video. So I go to media and I just insert the video. Let's, let's put it something like this. Now, if you don't want a video, you will get a image, something like this. And this image needs to have a source so that source is so so for to get the thumbnail of YouTube video this is the pattern that it follows and I am going to replace this YouTube ID uh, in my video here so so this image so I'll to get the thumbnail of the YouTube video that I want I just need to replace this one okay so this is also good so I'll send it to back now the next thing is I need to show a playlist so I'll move over the to the icons um, there should be a button okay so this is the button that i am going to use all right uh, next is next is the toggle button for video to turn on and off so let's put it over here and put the text as just off and now this video needs to appear based on this toggle so let's go to its visible property so I just click here it's visible property this is this uh, this is the toggle one so toggle one dot value it's off at the moment so it's not showing but if you turn it on it'll show off now the next thing is the youtube video that is going to play over here i'll go to media um, okay here we have media i copy the link uh, i don't need so, okay. so this is the youtube link we are going to use let's go over here let's put it something like this now the song is being shown uh, but we want it to be dynamic right so uh, the next thing I do is I need to have a playlist as well which will uh, click on which the songs will play either by clicking the next button or the playlist so for that uh, I insert a rectangle it's easy from here so rectangle cover everything put the color as black and then uh, I also need to put certain amount of transparency so put A as 50 so it's a little transparent here 
now uh so i need a a box with the curve is that that's something i couldn't find in the icon set so i'm just gonna use a button uh put its display mode as view uh put its radius as 20 if not more remove the text here put the color as white and just expand this Uh, I think the border can be a little bit more, so let's put it as 40. So this is good. Uh, next thing I need is a button so that this thing gets close. Let's put it at 40. Color of the button is to be let's put it gray and text as black and then line it to center uh, the black does not really so, so gray is fine now insert a list which we can do using gallery so gallery here and we need to show the songs of mr Bruce Springsteen. So I go to data. Here's my demo site. I'm going to copy this. Uh, go to connector, SharePoint, adding SharePoint, putting the link. Oops. So I can put the link here. It's showing up down below, but I'm just going to put click connect and it'll show me uh, the list that I want to be connected over here. So I'm selecting YouTube playlist, uh, connect, and uh, this is not the layout that I need. First of all, I need to change the data source of this gallery, which can be found in the right side uh, menu. And on the data source, I'm going to select YT playlist. So after I have done that, it's loading the data into the uh, gallery. In this gallery, I need I don't like this layout so I just go ahead and switch to title and subtitle and I guess it's taking some time Oops, let's see so this is let's bring it to front okay so we have four songs over here uh let's group them all gallery button and uh, gallery button button and this rectangular let's group them all so click uh, i'm clicking control here and i'm multi-selecting all so you need to click control uh click on group play so i'm just renaming this so this is the playlist group I go to its visibility uh, I'll put a variable called so playlist and then I copy this go to app set set uh, the so playlist as false The next thing I do is I'm going to click here and then copy this and over here I am going to put so playlist as true play this clicking here so playlist is showing now clicking on close it needs to disappear so on the select of the close button putting it as false again and clicking on this needs to disappear as well so false again so it's gonna disappear <laughs> so the next thing is uh, clicking on this play uh, the song needs to be played so on click
click off this button set play music plus two. so I'm just putting it the reverse of what it was so uh, I'm setting play music as false here on the app start so, so set play music as false and when you click here the negative all the false would be uh, true so it will play the music so this is the uh, media video that we are using and I go to start menu of this and here I'm going to put play music so when I click this and then it's gonna stop now the next thing that can be done is this icon to so uh, pause or play depending on the button click so I'll go to its image property and over here what I can do is if play music so if play music is true then I need pause if it's false then it's play so let's try this out as well if it works or not so so play and pause working super awesome so now the next thing is track uh, this slider with this video so the duration of this slider is uh, the duration of the video so I'm just clicking on the slider going over its max value so mean value is 0 max needs to be uh, what's the value of the video so video 1 dot duration now its default value needs to be video 1 dot time so based on what time it is it needs to play so, so this tracker you can see it moving now the change of the this tracker this uh, video needs to move forward as well which is not happening So what can be done here is click this on select property of this uh, slider what we can do is set current time equals to slider one dot value and put this current time over here and put this at the start time so now let's see so see it's moving here is it good to you now everything looks fine so i we need to implement the next and the previous song uh, logic so on the next one I'll go to on select so this is playing uh, let's go to media so this needs to play the first song and how we are going to do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm going to put current song so what is current song I'll go to app start and I'm going to define the set song is look up not good 
so I'm going to take first yt playlist dot yt so curse song is the first one uh, this gives you the delegation warning what you can do is you can do first uh, uh, oops. you can do first n comma one delegation warning now you know what current song is we need to track uh, the next and previous song so I need to set current index so by default it's one all the time at the start of the app uh, the current index is one and you will know why I'm using current uh, index uh, when I implement the next uh, scenario so I play this, uh, nothing is playing because I need to app start this. So I am going to, I'm go clicking on the app, run on start. So first song is Dancing with the Dark. So now what we need to do is we need to increase the counter and how we are going to do is, uh, so let's copy this, come here, uh, paste this, put this current index at the top. So current index is current index plus one. And over here, I'm going to put the current index. And let's close this. So now uh, at the end of all the songs the current index might keep on increasing and you don't have uh, songs for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a if condition uh, I am going to count the values in the gallery so count rows so the number of uh, rows in the gallery is number of songs that we have so so if uh, count rows all uh, items in the gallery equals to current index, in that case, set current index as one, so that at the end of the last song, it when you click on next, it'll start the first one, and if it's not, it just keeps on increasing. So let's try this out. So I'm clicking next. So next one has been played. Click on next. This is the last song. So now when I click on next, it needs to go on the first one which is dancing in the dark so now same logic for the previous one just copying this one copy and i am going to paste on on select and set current song current index as minus one after this uh, if current index equals to uh, I'm just going equals to so at the if current index equals to 1 you are at the beginning uh, what can you do is you can put count rows so that it will take you to the last song um, count rows gallery 1 dot all items so what it's doing is it's setting the current index as uh, the number of gallery items which means it's at the last song then it keeps on uh, decreasing with the set current index one and then it set the current song as uh, depending on the value of the current index so let's try this out as well oops what 
did I do wrong? Let's figure it out. So if it's current index is one, uh, set current index equals to count calorie. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, let's run on start and click this one. Okay, working fine. all awesome now we need to have a way to when they click on the playlist it needs to play the song so this is pretty simple so yeah uh, so I'm over the dancing in the dark uh, I am going to set as uh, this item dot ytid so I want to play bone in the USA there we go now this switcher uh, we need to show the YouTube thumbnail so what I'm going to do is it's really easy i'm just going to put current song here and go on to the next one and you get songs like this so this is all good and now this needs to show the timing of the song so click here um so we have this is the video Click on this one, video one. So video one dot time gives you the second of the value of the video. So, we go. so we are at like 108, which is over at a minute. So what I can do is I can divide this by 60, which gives me minute, and then. I can modulus this by 60 which gives me the second and since this gives you the value in decimal points so I need to round down So I'm round down. Uh, I don't need this. Uh, okay. Same goes to this one. Okay. Uh, also, I can put a little bit of formatting and do something like so that. This gives me a good better formatting. So it puts a zero in the front. Uh, I can do same with the other one. Put double zero. So it gives you formatting something like this. develop the song player in the YouTube uh, if you like the tutorial of how I've made this uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any requests please put down on the comment if you need any help also you can put that on your comment and please click the bell icon to get notified of all these kind of videos that I made and upload to my channel and stay updated with it Thank you so much for watching my video.